It challenges us to be bearers of faith, hope and love, sharing the joy of our own encounters with Jesus with everyone we meet. My dear friend, this is Monday of the fourth week of Lent and we have the Gospel of John chapter 4 verses 43 to 54 for our reflection today. The first reading paints a vivid picture of a new heaven and a new earth, a vision of divine transformation where sorrow and mourning are no more. This promise of a renewed creation speaks directly to our own longing for a change and betterment not just in the world around us, but within our own very selves. In the Gospel, we encounter the royal official whose son was sealed. This story is a powerful testament to the theme of faith and belief. When Jesus assures the official that his son will live, the man believes even before he sees the proof of his son's sealing. His faith is not just a passive acceptance, but an active trust that transforms his entire household. The official's whole household came to believe in Jesus as a result of this miraculous healing. This reflects the ripple effect that our own faith can have on others. And today, during this London season, we are called to reflect on our personal relationship with Jesus and how it can influence our families, friends, and communities. It challenges us to be bearers of faith, hope, and love, sharing the joy of our own encounters with Jesus with everyone we meet. We live in a world that hungers for meaning, purpose, and connection. The reading teaches us that our personal relationship with Jesus can serve as a beacon of hope, and inspiration to our families, friends, and communities. It challenges us to be authentic witnesses to the gospel, sharing the joy and hope we find in Jesus with everyone we encounter. Reflect today as we contemplate the transformative power of faith illustrated in today's gospel. Consider this. How can we actively cultivate and share our personal relationship with Jesus in order to inspire hope and bring about positive change in our family, friends and community? May the words of Jesus redeem us. Amen.